Hello, clergy and lady of the Virginia Annual Conference. This is Bishop Sue Hopper Johnson. I'm here today to update you with uh, Reverend Joanne Badiger about disaster relief and our response efforts from the Virginia Annual Conference. It's weighing on all of our hearts and minds, the devastation that we see in parts of Virginia, in parts of Western North Carolina, in South Georgia, and now imminently Florida as Hurricane Milton hangs off the coast of Florida and threatens to wreak havoc there. I want you to know that we're in the process of building a new team and a really uh, excellent way of disaster response. Joanne Badiger is gonna update you on our efforts here. Uh, I wanna thank uh, Bob Pilkrantz, who is our um, Director of Emergency Response and has done a good job for us already, and Amanda Garber, who is also working on this effort. Uh, we are working out the kinks. We are moving into a new era of disaster response. And one new thing is that we have been assigned as the Virginia Annual Conference to partner with the Western North Carolina Conference in their relief efforts. Bob is on the ground working with them already. Uh, and I know Joanne's gonna update you. They're very excited to receive a shower truck from us in areas that have no water. So that is a huge gift. I want you to know too that the connection is active as we give our gifts and our resources to help those who are struggling now. Uh, I am in constant contact with Bishop Ken Carter in Western North Carolina, with Bishop Robin Deese in North and South Georgia, and with our own Bishop Tom Berlin, who is uh, about to learn exactly how hurricanes in Florida work. And I hate that for him, but he is gifted and he will do well there and they are very organized. I want you to know that Global Ministries and UMCOR are on the ground and that we are making every effort to get all of the relief there that we can. I also need you to follow their instructions. All of our first impulse is to get in our car and drive down and help, and we all wanna do that, but that is not helpful in a disaster site. And through the years, we have a very careful response system, so we will let you know when it's time to show up but right now, as Joanne will highlight, we need your gifts and most of all your prayers. So I invite you now as we uh, see Hurricane Milton off the coast of Florida where I grew up. I grew up on the beaches of Florida and this is just horrific to me personally. I'd like to offer a prayer for all of those in harm's way and all of those who have been devastated by these natural disasters. So let's pray together. Oh God, we pray that your Holy Spirit and your presence is vitally with these folks as they suffer loss of power, as they suffer loss of water, as they watch their belongings devastated and their homes threatened. Oh Lord, we ask that you uh, give them a sense of your presence and your peace in all times. Oh Lord, we thank you for our United Methodist connection and the connection with government agencies and all sorts of folks, other nonprofits, other churches as we gather to be the hands and feet of Christ in these devastated areas. We thank you for our connection and we pray that you will help us continue to strengthen it and give us generous hearts as we see those who are living in devastation and know that on any given day it could be us as well. Uh, we pray that you will be with us in the aftermath, that you will help us continue to be part of this marathon for we're looking at years of relief efforts and we ask that you give us generous and grateful hearts as we serve those most in need. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, Bishop. First, I wanna thank you all for your outpouring of support for those who have been most affected and impacted by Hurricane Helene. I continue to be inspired by the ways you're responding in the midst of this crisis. As a second, we wanna let you know that we will collect UMCOR cleaning buckets from all eight districts at the VA UMC Center in Glen Allen on Wednesday, October 16th at 12 p.m. and on Friday, November 1st at 12 p.m. Each district will designate a group of folks to bring the buckets to the VA UMC Center. And we ask that before you send the buckets to your drop-off site, consider offering a blessing for the hands that prepared them, for the materials that have gone into them, and for those who will receive them. As of now, we have over 1,200 UMCOR cleaning buckets committed for the first round drop-off on October 16th. Thank you. This is just the beginning, 
and we invite you to continue building UMCOR cleaning buckets that will help so many across the southeastern jurisdiction who've been impacted by these hurricanes. Additionally, we're aware that many are looking for training so that you might be able to serve on the ground. And we'll let you know when we receive an invitation from our partner conferences for early response team volunteers here soon. And as of right now, you can register to attend an early response team training on Saturday, October 26th at Heritage UMC in Virginia Beach or on Saturday, November 9th at Good Shepherd United Methodist Church in Richmond. If you're interested in serving as part of a longer term disaster recovery as United Methodist Volunteer and Mission Team Leader, we'll be having an UMVM Leader Training on November 2nd at Raleigh Court UMC in Roanoke. Information and registration links for these can be found online at www.vaumc.org slash Helene. Finally, we see the challenges that are presented by Milton and we are praying for all who are impacted. We will do our best to keep you updated and if you have any questions, please feel free to email the Missional Community Engagement Office at missions at vaumc.org. Friends, thank you so much for all that you are doing to the hands and feet of Christ in this time.